am Bhavna Manan from IBPG College, Panipat. Today we are going to study the patterns of cleavage. So, cells in the cleavage stage are called blastomy. Let me take the pen. So, cells in the cleavage stage they are known as blastomy. Species exception is mammals. Both the initial rate of cell division and the placement of the blastomere with respect to one another are under the control of proteins and mRNA stored in the oocyte. Only later do the rates of the cell division and the placement of the cell come under the control of newly formed organisms' own genome. During the initial phase of development, when cleavage rhythms are controlled by maternal factors, cytoplasmic volume doesn't increase. Rather, the zygote cytoplasm is divided into increasingly smaller cells, present in half, first, then quarters, then eighths, and so forth. Cleavage occurs very rapidly in most invertebrates probably as an adaptation to generate a large number of cells quickly and to restore the somatic ratio of nuclear volume to cytoplasmic volume. The embryo often accomplishes this by abolishing the gap periods of the cell cycle, that is G1 and G2 phase, when growth can occur. The pose of child. The pattern of the embryonic cleavage peculiar to a species is determined by the two parameters. The two major parameters include the amount and distribution of yolk protein within the cytoplasm, which determines where cleavage can occur and the relative size of the blastomy. Second, factors in the cleavage cytoplasm that influence the angle of the mitotic spindle and the timing of its formation. In general, yolk inhibits cleavage when one pole of egg is relatively yolk free, cellular division occurs there at a faster rate than at the opposite pole. The yolk rich pole is referred to as the vegetal pole. The yolk concentration in the animal pole is relatively low. So the another opposite pole is the animal pole. The zygote nucleus is frequently displaced towards the animal pole for the cleavage. First is the holoblastic cleavage. At one extreme are the eggs of sea urchin, mammals and snails. These eggs have pars, that means very little, but equally distributed yolk and thus isolated, means they have equal yolk. In these species, cleavage is holoblastic, means complete cleavage, meaning that the cleavage furrow extends through the entire egg. It is extending through the entire egg. With little yolk, these embryos must have some other way of obtaining food, like mammals have maternal placenta, and the other forms have the larval form, that is, voracious larva. There are different types of the holoblastic cleavage, which can be further described as radial, spiral, bilateral, and rotational holoblastic cleavage. Let's see with the diagram. The first is the isolecithal eggs, which have a very little but evenly distributed yolk. So, first type is the holoblastic cleavage, that is radial. It found in echinoderms and amphioxus. So here the cells are going to cleave along the radius. You can see here it can have two radius. So first division is along the longitudinal side. Then also second also longitudinal and third is along the transverse. Second type is the spiral cleavage. It is found in annelids, molars and flat forms. You can see here, it will form a spiral patterns of cell from inside to out. Third is the bilateral cleavage. 
the bilateral cleavage is found in the tunicates and here the zygote that is finally cleaving the cells are forming a bilateral pattern which have equal symmetry from left and right fourth is rotational cleavage found in mammals and nematodes here the cells which are cleaving are finally going through a rotation forming a cavity as you can see here Next type is the meroblastic cleavage. At the other extreme are the eggs of the insects, fish, reptiles and birds. Most of their cell volumes are made up of yolk. That means their cells have a heavy yolk. The yolk must be sufficient to nourish the animals throughout embryonic development. Zygotes in these case will have meroblastic cleavage. Mero means part where only a portion of the cytoplasm is cleaved. So the cleavage furrow doesn't penetrate the yolky portion of the cytoplasm because the yolk platelets impede membrane formation there. That means it inhibits the membrane formation. So let's see. First, in the insect's egg, the yolk is present at the center. So these are the central acetal eggs. And the division in this case occur only at the rim of the cytoplasm, at the periphery of the cell known as superficial yolk. In eggs of birds and fishes, only a small area of the egg that is free of yolk. So these eggs are known as the telolecithal egg. Telo means tip. Therefore, the cell division occurs only in this small disc of cytoplasm, giving rise to the discoidal type of the cleavage. Let's see with the diagram. B is shown. It is the mesolecithal egg. That means it is having a moderate amount of yolk it is generally found in amphibians and here the cleavage pattern is radial it's a simple formation next the meroblastic or incomplete cleavage as i've already discussed with you that have high amount of yolk it has further types the telolysical eggs which have dense yolk throughout the cell first bilateral cleavage Second is discoidal cleavage found in fishes, reptiles and birds. Bilateral found in cephalopod molars. And finally is the central acetal egg which have yolk only at the center. So cleavage is only at the periphery. Bilateral is same as I've already discussed with you. And discoidal cleavage is only present at the tip in the form of a disc. Hope you are clear with this. Thanks.